Well, hello there. My name is Novice Anne Namana. Do 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 do. And I'm now do 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 do. And I would like to read you a book as part of the Glasgow Order of Better Indulgence, Glasgow Mission. And with much thanks to Comic Relief. So, the book that I'm going to read for you just now is Space Girl Pukes. I'm going to be doing lots of um, lots of onomatopoeia. I'm going to be making lots of sounds. So you can really get involved. And this is written by Katie Watson and illustrated by Van der Carter. How marvellous. This is one of your actual LGBT books for young people. Marvellous. Shall we begin? Space Girl Pukes. Bleh! She was sick. Oh no, cried the engineer. All over the control panel. And as you can see, the inside of the spaceship and the space girl. Bleh! And everyone's having a little panic. Space Girl started to cry. She hadn't been expecting to be sick. Mummy Lola hugged her. Now there was sick on both of them. Mummy Nini got some tissues and wiped them both up. Oh dear. Mummy Lola's got puke all over her. And there's Mummy Nini with the tissues. Oh dear, said Mummy Nini. You must have caught that bug from your friend Starboy. Let me see. Space Girl in the back of a little carrier on a bike. At home, Mummy Lola and Mummy Nini tucked Space Girl up in their bed. They put a bucket next to her bed in case she was sick again. Poor Space Girl. Oh. Then Mummy Nini said, Oh no! Bleah. She was sick in the bucket. Then Mummy Lola was sick as well. Bleah. Poor Mummy's. Poor Space Girl. Bleah. They are being sick in the bucket. They all got into bed together. Then Trotsky the cat came in. He made a funny little coughing noise. Ka, ka, ka. And he was sick on the floor. Oh, poor Trotsky. They all felt really ill. All those things in the bed with them. Digestive biscuits. When Space Girl was feeling better, she went back to the rocket. Well, she looks much better now. Oh, and the mummies have got their skates on. One of the ground crew helped her put on her spacesuit. Suddenly, he said, oh no. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah. He was sick all over Space Girl's boots. Mummy Nini got some tissues and wiped them clean. There's all the sick. There's all the sick on the boots. Blah. Mummy Lola and Mummy Nini hugged Space Girl and kissed her goodbye. Mwah. Mwah. Everyone counted down. Three, two, one, blast off! But the rocket didn't move. Is the rocket feeling ill? Space Girl asked. They're very confused. It's not blasted off. Mm -hmm. 
The ground crew all scratched their heads. Then Mummy Lola saw a little red light on the control panel. This rocket's got no petrol, she said. There's Mission Control Centre. And there's the little red button. There's a little red light there. No petrol. You won't go without any petrol. A crewman filled the spaceship up with petrol from a long hose. There's the long hose. And there's the space person. There's the rocket ship. The mummies hugged space girl again and kissed her goodbye. Mwah. Mwah. Three, two, one, blast off! The engines went vroom! And there's Space Girl waving goodbye to her mummies. Space Girl was headed for the stars. And that is the end. But if you like this book, there is another one coming out called Space Girl and the Alien. Ooh. That was wonderful. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you're feeling ill, make sure to tell your parent or people around you, maybe put on a mask as well and wash your hands because you don't want to get ill again, do you? Have a lovely day and I hope you enjoyed my story. <laughs>